So we've logged into Modic and we need to get contacts to allow us to add them to our marketing automation software. So one of the really common forms that I've been making a lot recently for uh, websites to manage the, uh, the Contact Us page is a Contact Us form. And now this form we'll make is a standalone form. And it's actually a pretty ingenious way of getting contacts into your, um, your email automation software to be kind of tracked from here. Um, and you don't have to add them to any marketing lists or campaigns right off the go. You can essentially use this as a, as a nice reservoir for CRM, but it also allows you to now know who your client is and start tracking them. So let's call this a contact us form. Um, I'm going to remain on form, but I am going to display a message. Message can be, thank you for submitting a message. Please allow us 24 to 48 hours to reply. Um, as you can tell for us to respond, you can tell I've created this form before. Um, sometimes I will categorize this. Uh, it depends on the site, but most sites it makes sense to categorize this as, as a non-marketing category um, so that you can easily see it. I'm going to say it's published, yes. I'm not going to disable this or set it in kiosk mode. I'm going to tell it to render styles. Um, sometimes I say no here so that I get a little more control, but for now I'm just going to say render styles. And I'm going to choose uh, fresh form center. I'm pretty sure that's what I wanted. Now, Lots of the time you'll want to write a description here. All this description's for us the later when you're looking at these forms because you got 20 forms, um, especially when you have a lot of campaign forms. Um, you know exactly what the form is. If you've given it the right name, you shouldn't need this description. And I'm not going to write this description because contact us form is pretty simple and I'm only going to have one form of this nature. So now we've done that. I'm going to go to fields. And we'll start adding fields. So the first field I'm going to create is going to be text. I'm going to call it name. Um, you could call it first name if you want. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to show the label. Uh, what is your first name? Um, I will often just put what is your name. Um, I'm not sure in the label because I think it looks cleaner. Now I'll go to contact. I'm going to choose first name. I'm going to go to validation. I'm going to require this. I only require this on contact us forms. I don't actually ever require the name on a lead capture form because I don't really care if I end up with the name. I really care if I end up with the email and I don't want to force someone into um, give me their name if they don't want to when I'm getting them to just sign up for my email marketing. So attributes will be auto-generated when I click add. Behavior, I don't require anything, but you can do some pretty interesting things with behavior. Like after they've submitted this form a couple times, you could then ask for a phone number also. Um, so maybe you could get in touch with them. So I'm just going to click add. We need two more fields. I'm going to go email. Again, label it email. I'm not going to show the label because I don't like it. I'm going to put what is your best email because lots of marketers who are smarter than me say that's the one that will get you the most accurate email typically. Um, and then I'm going to go to contact field and make sure it's email. I'm going to validate and I'm going to require the email also because I need to be able to email them back, obviously, um, if they're emailing me. And then the last field I want to add is going to be a text area. This is for the message. I'm going to call it message. This time I am going to show the label because I don't want to put a default value in there. Um, you could type a help message. I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. It's asking me if I want to save the result. Um, I'm going to say yes. I'm not going to put this in a contact field uh, specifically 
because it'll save the result in the form data when C people submit it and I'm going to instantly do an action that emails it to me my validation I'm not going to require it if I got an email that had no message and it had a first name and a last name I'd presume that they accidentally submitted it that way and I would just reach out to them and say hey you were trying to contact me I did not get the body of your message is there something I could help with um, easy peasy so now I don't want this to say submit even though submit is is okay I think send makes more sense when you're talking about an email and so now that you're gonna see a form that has first name what is your best email address and then message um, and you could make this say your message in the label but I think message is enough for now most people will get it so on uh, add new submit action I'm going to send the form results so I'm gonna say uh, contact us if I could spell contact results and this name is just for you so you know what it's about again you can write a description results from contact uh, contact us form um, I want it to reply to the contact that has emailed me um, it just makes the most sense that when I get this email and then I just set the two and I'd set this just to my email address um, and so that's what I'm gonna do and then I click add And then I'd normally probably modify the contacts tags add something like uh, interacted via messenger would be the tag maybe I'd make um, sometimes I'd send a email to the user I don't have any email set up and so that wouldn't work out right now because I don't have the email to send but so I'd probably send an email that read something like uh, thank you for emailing us we are going to get back to you in 24 to 48 hours blah blah and it would it would go so that would be the next step um, and then because of that I would maybe even modify the content the contacts points to say they've contacted us which means they're more likely to, to talk to me sometimes it's really dependent on on what the contact form typically is used for by a client um, it's pretty rare for some clients to get emails from people who haven't or who have purchased and aren't contacting them to complain so it really depends on how you want but you can edit this information pretty easily um, like I said I don't have an email set up yet we'll do that in the next lesson but so at this point we are ready to go I'm gonna save and close I'm gonna click forms once more we're gonna see it's form ID 1 so we are ready to add this to our WordPress install so we open up our um, WordPress page we're gonna go to edit page I'm gonna edit with Elementor because I've got Elementor installed here and that's how I want to manage this in the long run I'm going to add a short code to the page and so that form was one. I'm going to apply the changes. I'm going to update. And we've got really no styling at this point. But I just want to show you what this looks like 
Place that into no sidebars. Um, I'm going to leave the title. I'm going to go full width. And so I'm going to say update. And so here's our form. So then you type in your name and your email and your message. This is a test. I'm going to click send. And so this is the styling of the, the form we're just looking at. And we'll play with that a little bit in the future. So thank you for submitting your message. So there's the message that says it was sent. I'm happy and good to go. And if I go look at the email, I end up with an email right here that, uh, that really says everything I needed to. Like, oh, somebody named Tevin said this is a test. Perfect. But even cooler than that, if I go back to my Modic install and I now go look at my contacts, I have a new contact. And that's pretty sweet. Um, and now when this contact looks around the site, you'll see, oh, they came, they were identified by their IP address, and then they submitted this form, and now we know who they are, and we have our first interaction. Um, now this is super oversimplified, but now you see that you can make a form like this. I'm going to come back to this in the next video, and we will clean up this form and add a few more things to it, um, including adding an email to send a confirmation to the user and to really get you on that, that ball of, of cleaning up what's in place. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you saw something you didn't like or you want to comment on, please put it in the comments below. Um, I love to learn with my audience. And I will be back to make this form more secure and just a better form in general. But this was the simple contact us form so that you can now start tracking people around your website um, using a modic form to identify them on your contact us page.